want you guys to give it up, put your hands together. He's another member of the Have Nots Comedy Showcase. Give it up, everybody, for Dominic Perenzen. Supporting live comedy, you know, our local comedians, that's pretty cool. Thank you for uh, bringing Starbucks. Awesome. There's a bunch of pics over there. Uncle Heroes is late, so. It's alright. <laughs> well, actually, today I got my newest issue of Muscle and Fitness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true, I have a three year subscription. <laughs> and that's not the joke, John. <laughs> well, you know, I. I don't know, I guess I overestimated my commitment to muscle <laughs> and to fitness. I should have, you know, subscribed to like something like Taco Bell aficionado <laughs> to see what the gordita of the month is. That would have been more my style. But have you ever seen those exercise magazines, those muscle magazines? They always say the same crap in the front. Get rock hard abs in four weeks. They have a picture of some celebrity like Vin Diesel like that. Ah. And I'm like, I want to look at that. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm all excited, like they're gonna have some magic formula for me. Like, have a banana and do a cartwheel. <laughs> but then I turn the page and they're like, do sit-ups and crunches. Like, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna get a six-pack the old-fashioned way at Publix and all seven. It's more my style. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> uh, man. But have you ever seen that magazine, like those muscle, have you seen the Muscle and Fitness, have you it? It's like six pages of articles and like 95 of advertising. They try to sell you like powders and pills and the newest diet pill. And you know, I was, and every diet pill commercial, the same thing. They're like, lose 40 pounds in three and a half minutes. And they have this guy with like the big jeans, he's standing like this. And I'm not sure if that guy lost 40 pounds or he's just really bad at judging his pant size. <laughs> so, and, and they always have like some guy in a lab coat, you know, trying to like buy this thermofuel, trying all scientific, trying to see what fool is gonna buy it. So I bought it, and uh, if you're taking a diet pill, I, I went home and took it. And as soon as you take it, you start shaking. I'm like, oh my god, I must be losing weight because I feel like a crackhead. <laughs> That's what losing weight feels like. So I decided to look at the instructions. And the instructions say, take the pill and, and use it along with a healthy diet and exercise. Fuck that, why would I get a pill if I would do you know, healthy diet and exercise? That's what I'm trying to avoid. That's why I bought this diet pill. You know, and if you really think about it, you could really put anything in a healthy diet and exercise, and it'll pretty much work. Like you do, here's my new diet. It's a healthy diet, exercise, and sprinkles. <laughs> it'll work. Or a healthy diet, exercise, and Patron. That'll work as well. And you might not get a six pack, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna give a shit. Because it's Patron, you don't give a shit, you've been doing Patron all day. Like I like to do. Woo! My drinkers, anybody drinking? Woo! Yeah, come on, oh, drinking is awesome. Uh, it's one of my favorite hobbies, I love to drink, but one of my fears of drinking all the time is that people are going to label me an alcoholic, which I don't want. So, you know, I started doing research and they said the number one thing that you know when you're an alcoholic, you start drinking by yourself. It's one of the number one things. So I just always keep people around me. <laughs> like my friends, my family, Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> when they come knocking on my door, they're like, we'd like to tell you about our Lord. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> How does your Lord feel about the Eater Bombs? <laughs> And then, you know, I said, come on, does your Lord witness the next happy hour? And then they start running away. I'm like, come back, tell me about Jesus. I'm like, just kidding, guys, I'm just playing. I'm not an alcoholic. I just love to drink vodka. 
You got vodka drinkers? That's my favorite shit. Because vodka is magical. It can turn every shitty drink into amazing. Like for example, tomato juice. Tastes like a little bit like ketchup. You put a little bit of vodka in that shit. That's the breakfast of champions. Hand me a cellar stick, let's get the party started. Or you can do, you know, like Red Bull. If you ever drink Red Bull, you know, it tastes a little bit like robot tussing. Gives me heart palpitations. But you put a little bit of vodka in it. Let's go to South Beach, play some techno, get those fist pumping. Yes, it's magical. And I've come to the conclusion that you could put, you know, vodka in anything and make it pretty cool. Like a friend of mine could be like, Hey, come on, I got something new. You wanna try panda sperm? Panda sperm. Dude, where the hell did you get that? So I'm pretty sure it's illegal. Panda sperm and vodka? Let's give it a shot, I don't know, I don't care. Wait, look at me like I'm... Come on, people. But before I leave, I'm going to ask you a question, before I get out of here. Why is it that when a girl dates 17 guys, everybody calls her a slut? But when a girl dates 17 guys, and you put a camera crew around her, now she's a bachelorette. <laughs> but I really can't get too mad at that show, because it kind of reminds me how I met my wife. You know, I went up to her door, and I knocked, and then a camera crew came. Now I'm considered a predator. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll take any laughter I can get. But you know, eventually we worked it out, or as they call it, a plea bargain. All right, guys. I'll leave you with the uncomfortable sexual harassment joke. You guys, I'm Dominic Perez. Give it up, everybody, for Dominic Perez.